What I want is for you to tell the truth. And I'm gonna see to it that you do, one way or another. I am telling the truth. You must be deluded. I mean, when you hit your head, you must have forgotten what you did to Dr. Saybrook. <laughs> well, Hannah, I didn't do anything to Dr. Saybrook. You know that. Well, then I'm scared to see what you consider to be something, because from what I've read, you've been doing oh, a whole you know nothing lot about of nothing me. to that woman for years. <laughs> I, I know a lot about you. Of the rape holding Dr. Saybrook hostage. You know, I can have you thrown out of here any time. No, but I haven't said what I came to say. Which is what? I think you should drop the charges against Cole. <sighs> What's so funny? Well, no, there's no way. I'm, I'm going to make sure that that kid fries for what he did to me. Why do you think I should drop the charges? Because hmm? it would be in your best interest, Todd. Sarah didn't show up at my hearing. She uh, went to the hospital instead. What, to be with her dad? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I get that she's upset about him, but to not be there for you at all? Yeah, well, well she uh, showed up eventually. But instead of apologizing for choosing her rapist, murderer, father over me, she went ballistic on Hannah. Hannah? Cole was furious with me for being at the hospital with my dad instead of at the hearing. And he got so mad that he started accusing my dad of pushing Marty down the stairs again, and... And so you defended him? Of course I had to, but then things really turned into a mess when I blamed the whole thing on Hannah. Wait, how can Star blame Hannah for you being in jail? Well, she still thinks that Hannah's lying about seeing her dad push my mom. She really thinks that Hannah would lie about something that important? I guess, you know, Star thinks that, um... She's after me, remember? So, Hannah would make up being a witness to an attempted murder. Why? According to Star, it's a part of a big plot to break us up. And it's working. What do you mean it's working? No, this, this whole situation is just temporary. Cole's gonna get out of jail and everything's gonna work out the way it's meant to be. Okay, man. Lieutenant McBain, Brody, your mom, they're gonna get you out of this mess. And you and Star are gonna be okay. Right? You and Cole are going to be okay, right? I mean, you have to be. I can't take it if you and Cole are going to break up, too. What do you mean, too? I think it's really brave of you to go back and redo high school. Really? Yeah. Don't you guys? Well, most people think it's totally weird. Well, I think it's totally cool. I mean, there are things I wish I could go back and redo. And if the girls in my high school were half as pretty as you, I never would have left. Do you folks know you're here, Jess? I left my dad a note. You should probably call him just in case, don't you think? Well, no. Apparently, one of the perks of my condition is nobody freaks out anymore when I stay out late. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you get all the fun of being a teenager and all the freedom of being a woman. So, uh, what other kind of perks are there? This isn't fun and games for Jess. She's learning to cope with a whole new world. It's not easy. Oh, no. I'm coping better every day. You should be careful anyway, Jess. Especially around people that don't know you that well. Mm. How about you help me take these dishes to the kitchen, will ya? So, um, this guy who's taking you to prom? How serious is it? Oh, Brody? Oh, we're not going steady or anything. We're free to date other people. Do you know who bought the necklace? Yes. Who was it? Papa, I want to buy the necklace. You bought the necklace. Are you my father? 